Hello, this is the hydraulic pump from our tractor. It is small, so we decided to buy a new one with bigger volume and bigger capacity because we need this to be stronger. This is too small. The flow is 20 liters only. So we buy a bigger one. And this is the new one. It has uh, 60 liters of capacity. <coughs> so it is much more stronger. We use a multiplier. So it, it will increase the RPMs. You see it's down we buy adapter slide it in and then this multiplier also fits to that and then we need a frame you see on the top and we weld it on this frame that holds our trailer now we have to weld underneath and this uh, top one is uh, removable when we unscrew these two bolts and this nut it can everything can slide out when we don't need it so it is now it is then uh, free to use the regular PTO shaft We want to make that can be removed very easily. You can see how it looks very clearly here. This is the adapter for the PTO shaft. And then you slide simply this multiplier with hydraulic pump on that. And it will increase the RPM of the pump. It is basically just like a gearbox, nothing else. You can see how it looks. And it will not uh, be on the way or some with some other equipment we use here. Simply when we remove this, this is be this will be like before here is where the PTO shaft goes on the tractor so when we remove it it can be easily put it underneath now we have to weld it we just fix it on the place and now it has to be finished now this tool holds this frame on the top and these two will hold here so it cannot move anywhere I don't know this is the first time I use this I don't know what force will be by this so I put uh, stronger these profiles so first I just want to weld it here and leave it but that I thought I could put some reinforcement here, so I additionally put these bolts. You can see how it looks now. now it has to be welded, painted, and it is ready to use. So the frame is now finished. I polish all the welds. You can see. How it looks now what is left is to paint mount uh, this uh, multiplier for hydraulic pump and then I need to make some reservoir for the oil hydraulic oil 
but first I need to paint this mount uh, that hydraulic pump with multiplier on that frame and then we will do the rest that is needed to be done so this frame is now finished painted and it is ready to be mounted with this hydraulic pump as I said, now I have to make some uh, reservoir for the oil, hydraulic oil. So step by step and everything will work very nice. This is the reservoir for that oil, the well, hydraulic pump. It is made completely from scrap metal, you can see. On one side of this reservoir, we weld these flat pieces of metal. So if the oil will heat, we will put or install the fan here and will run on tractor. 12 volt and DC so it will cool down the oil. This is the frame that goes on the tractor. It will tight with screws here. You can see it is completely made from scrap metal. Now this is the port where the hydraulic pump will take the oil out. This is the connection port will go the oil will go into the reservoir so the circle is made we also install one of these so the clean only the clean oil will go into the that pump with a multiplier so basically, you can see, we just make drill a hole, put it through and weld it all around. So one side of the screw is out, and the other side, just simply put this on. And only the clean oil will go into the pump. And this is all, so we drill a hole weld it all around this piece and simply screw this this big connector here and on the boot we use a uh, plumbing parts you can see so when we want to take this oil out simply unscrew this and all the oil that is in the reservoir can go out very easily you can see how it's made it is tested no leaks nothing and this is the cover that goes on the top here also made from scrap metal also big plumbing parts this is where we will put oil in the unscrew and when it's mounted just pour the oil in and that's it very easily we will put some gasket here all around and then make tight just like so so when we need to clean this reservoir we will unscrew these bolts and remove this cover so you can clean everything on the inside. So this is it. This is the reservoir for our oil. Very easy to make. Now we will paint it. So it will last long.
after that we only need to mount it everything connect the hoses and test it how it will work so everything is mounted you can see our hydraulic oil reservoir very big more than 25 liter of oil goes inside multiplier is connected to the tractor shaft you can see everything is fixed connected now I hook up this hydraulic motor changing these hoses on that you can turn to opposite direction you can see how it looks and the inside is the oil you can see so everything is as it should be so I will now power it on and show you that it works this system very good so we will now engage and can see it will work it works perfectly everything is like it should be now this hydraulic motor will go on our manure spare my next project it will turn this the new spare I will try to convert very old trailer is so I will change it to my new spare and this thing works it can be used for lock splitting everything and it is very portable thanks for watching and bye